sins. You know, Jesus' message is for all who want to hear. Hi everyone, welcome to today's devotion. In Mark 2, 17 is where Jesus says, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. That's us. And if we are honest with ourselves, we all struggle with sin, be they desires, habits, thoughts, or behaviors. Sin is everywhere, and it constantly tempts us. That enemy, sin, wants to pull you away from Christ. And even though we may hate our sin and want to stop it, we often fall short. Do you ever have that little voice inside your head that says to you, you are such a sinner because you are not following Jesus properly? Well, we are all sinners. Sinners are us, and we will continue to struggle with sin, even though we have already been saved, because sin has a way of creeping in, enslaving us, controlling us, and even dictating our actions. But Jesus can free you from that sin, that slavery that keeps you from being the person that God created you to be. With Jesus' saving grace, we can come into a right fellowship with God. Trust that God will work in and through you, even if you aren't always sure of what to do or how he's going to lead you. You know, we struggle. The struggle is real. But you can grow in strength against sin by feeding your relationship with Christ. The more we read and study God's word, the more we fill our minds and hearts with his truth and his love. And as we love him more and more, we will resist the tendency to displease him. You know, God comforts us even when we sin because he didn't come to condemn us. He came to save us. Do you remember the story about the woman caught in adultery in John 8? The Pharisees, they wanted to stone her but Jesus offered forgiveness. He didn't defend her actions, but he offered compassion as well as the opportunity for her to turn her life around. In John 8, 11, he tells her, go now and leave your life of sin. With God's help, we can accept Christ's forgiveness and stop our wrongdoing. God loves us so much that he chose to provide the sacrifice. A life had to be given, Jesus' life. Jesus paid the penalty for our sin. He was the perfect sacrifice. He paid the price of our sin by his death. And you can receive forgiveness by confessing your sin to him and asking him for forgiveness. Our, lovingly, our loving Heavenly Father will not abandon us at our hour of great need. He will guide us out of the pit if we ask. God's forgiveness is based on his great mercy. Jesus Christ sacrificed his life to save us from sin. And he will love and comfort us no matter what. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, oh Lord, we thank you so much for this day. Lord, we thank you for the grace that you offer us and the forgiveness you give to us sinners. Lord, I pray for your continued guidance in all of our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great day. Peace be with you.